Okay. Um, so we got to the point. Uh, we did. We've done all of this up here. So we'll. Oops. Work. So all this is done. Just like this. Uh, in the main, create two account instances objects uh, initialized with the following data. Uh, and let's let me just. Uh, yeah, let me copy paste it. Don't remember much. Um, so, oops. So, um, where did the other one go? The output there. So before the two. Sh no, this is. Uh, so let's go now. We go to the um, the other class um, here. Uh, bit up here. Bank. So now we just press it. Um, and we'll go to the bank. So now we're in the bank class that we should have created. And here we are in the main of the bank class. Um, and this is what we're working for because everything is done from the main. This is where the computer starts. And let me just uh, do this. And then we'll give our message and I just. Um, should I show you this now? Yeah, there's another. I promised to show cool things about NetBeans while we go along here, and now I'll show you another thing that um, is kind of cool. So this one um, is an auto uh, comment. So instead of uh, writing these, whoops, delete, ah, like this um, or whatever, we're going to. Uh, to keep it as common text, um, it should. We can just uh, mark the text, and then we can just press this one. And then when we want to get rid of it, we just press the other one. So um, yeah. So uh, to comment and to uh, not comment anymore. So that's just plain cool. Uh. All right. So what did it say? Create two objects, um, instances, objects. It's the same thing um, of the account class. So we create two. We have a bank and we want Superman comes by, flies by, and then he wants to uh, deposit $500, should say, 500 um, And so uh, we create a new account for Superman. So we'll have to uh, create a new account. Well, how did we do that? Always start by creating by writing the account as um, spell it a ring. So this do like this. So start by writing the same as the class we are making a an object or an instance uh, sys instance from. Uh, I think I just say object because it's easier to say object. So we are creating an object of the account class, and we have to start by writing the name of the account class um, yeah so uh, what do we call this object let's just call it count one and then this is a variable of the object um, equals and now we have to write new um, and then repeat this account and then the uh, parentheses and now the information that it should take in so the first was a name and in this case, it's our best friend, Superman. And then followed by comma. And then the next piece of information will be 500. Still complaining because we miss the um, semicolon. Now it's happy. And what this does, it creates a new object from the account uh, class. So it's an account object. Say that. Um, and should I... Yeah, no. In the baby uh, project, the first project, do you have a lot of this um, with the construct? It should be clear. I hope so. Um, so let us just create the next one. Um, and let's just copy paste it and change some bits of information. So have a lazy copy paste day today. Um, and this one has to be named. We need a different variable, obviously, and that's probably why it's a complaining. Um, which is good because if we copy paste and forget forget to rename something, it complains. So this variable should just be named something different. We just call it account two because it's a second account. 
this is possible. They can actually create two accounts. They're actually different objects, but they contain the exact same information. The computer really doesn't care. Um, so it's good to know that the computer doesn't. And this we tell it, uh, program it to care. Uh, otherwise, it wouldn't care. So uh, legs, and he has. Uh, he's he's a rich guy. Um, Ten thousand um, dollars, and it's happy. Now we have created successfully created two objects of the account class. Um, so let's check the. I can delete this, uh, just because I have a bad memory. Um, all right. Next step: withdraw. Um, so yeah, this here. Yeah. Withdraw. 5,000 from Lex's account and deposited on Superman's account. Um, actually, it says this, but first I would just make sure that it's actually working, uh, that like a two-string is working and that it actually stores information, uh, which, so I would suggest that we just test it. Um, and often programming is about testing while we go along. Otherwise, if something doesn't work suddenly in the end and we have done no tests following up to that, then we have no idea where to start, begin looking for whatever is the problem. So I suggest we just print out the objects like we did in the uh, baby project. So um, if you don't remember, just please go back. So I'm not wasting too much time saying repeating the same stuff. Um, so... Now I'm just going to print out the two account objects and see if it gives if the two string is working if it gives back the gives back the information that I want. So press press F six the shortcut I'm using um, and it's just very slow. It shouldn't be slow. I have a very fast computer. I don't understand it, but it must be the the screen capture thing going on that makes it extremely slow. Does it work? Yeah, it works. Um, yeah. And I just noticed now that it makes these um, point or dot point, I think is right one. I don't know if you can see it, but point zero, so it's 500 point zero. So it's very specific about that. So maybe it's good to um, also include it when we tell it to create this. Um, it's technical stuff, but I don't, in this case, it, I don't think it mattered, but yeah, let's, uh, let's just do it. If it likes to write it like that, so yeah, I will. I'll do that for doubles from now on. I'll just make a point and then a zero. If it's um, it doesn't have any decimal numbers, um, all right. Uh, next part. Let's just um, so it works. So let's just get rid of this. Just a test. Doesn't. But now we know that the two strings working. That's actually storing the information that it gets in. Uh, so now we have to withdraw 5,000 from Lex account or deposit it on Superman's account and print out the balances of both accounts. So, so um, 5,000 from... And now this becomes the interesting. So what I will do now, I will restructure uh, NetBeans a bit to... Uh, that's this one. To... Um, so I'll drag, I press the bank class, and then I'll drag it out up here, and I'll create a new window for it. And this, uh, and I do the same with the uh, account. Let's just do it like this. Um, and I think for now we don't need the um, we don't need the output. So let me just um, do like this. And this, I can mention this again because I think it's so cool that in Windows you just press the um, window symbol and then the left and right arrow you can also full screen you can um, make it full screen and that's just very practical um, and I think I missed that in all the earlier Windows version I don't know when they created this way of working but it's it's cool it's very cool so and I should also remember to make it full screen when we're working um, I'll, I'll remember that from now on, I hope. Um, so we can see everything. Now, uh, so we have our bank um, to the left, a bank uh, class that contains the main 
and we have our account class on the right that contains the uh, just the account class no main. Uh, so we'll be giving the computer commands from the main in the bank class. Um, all right, it says I remember it correctly. Yeah, because I wrote it, and it's easy to remember. Um, we have to take um, five thousand from uh, Lex's account. So this we gave Lex ten thousand to begin with. So we'll take half of that, and we'll deposit it to uh, Superman's account. So. Um, and let's do some quick math here. So uh, if this works, if our program works, um, Lex will be left with 5,000 and Superman will be have 5,500 um, and it's dollars. Um, so, and I see that the time is up for this video. So in the next one, we'll, we'll do that. So see you in the next video.